Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Louisiana where a Sovtard was pulled over for no plates, no insurance, and the whole nine yards. And he even spouts off some of the common Sovtard rhetoric with apparently no idea with what he's saying. But wait, there's more to this. There are some other elements that you will have to stick around for because this gets pretty damn stupid. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, family, man? This man is finna take my truck, say, because I ain't got no insurance. Knowing that I don't need no insurance. This is not a commercial vehicle. This is my personal vehicle, my travel vehicle. Uh, yeah, sure, you lame brain, lead paint drinking, soft tart. That argument will work for sure in a court of law. Not. Considering that Louisiana state law requires that you do have insurance, according to this statute right here. And it says all vehicles must be insured. And speaking of, uh, commercial vehicles, well, Louisiana, just like any other state, does make a distinction between commercial and non-commercial vehicle driver's licenses. So you may want to go ahead and uh, pull your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works in listening to those sobtard gurus that have obviously been feeding you this uh, BS because clearly you don't seem to have the intelligence to come up with any uh, coherent arguments yourself. Well, you don't need none of that shit for the travel in the United States based off the Constitution. I take it you've never read uh, the Constitution itself because have you ever heard of the Tenth Amendment, which grants the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution? I mean, come on now, dude. Do a lot better than that. Do better. He ain't even searched the car. All he worried about lying, talking about he can't see the temp tag. Well, you can clearly see the temp tag. That's factory tent. It ain't even illegal tent. You can clearly see it. Oh, oh, you can clearly see it. Uh, where? Uh, I can barely see something in the window on the upper left side of it, dude. Come on now. Uh, yeah, I can understand why he pulled you over, because it certainly needs to be clearly visible and, well, this is not clearly visible. This man ain't followed me at least about 10 goddamn blocks hauling ass. I'm pretty sure you broke the law trying to catch up to me. And I'm going to make him go back and look and see if you did. Because I'm promising you swerved out out of lane and everything. That's against the law, buddy. What's your name is, sir? On your badge number? Sergeant Watson. Who? Sergeant Watson. What's your badge number? 1016. So can you tell me again why you taking my truck, sir? After I done told you I done had open heart surgery and everything, and I'm, tr I'm trying to go to work. I ain't out here selling drugs. I ain't out here got no damn guns. Y'all done made it legal for these goddamn kids to have guns at 18, and I ain't got none of that shit going on. I stay out here with... I Matter of fact, I need a gun like you need. I, I got to deal with the you got to deal with. And you going to take my shit because you, you lying, saying that you got to take because insurance. But I know if I was your skin color, you would have been gave me an A-OK. -OK, you could go. And, and there we go. He pulls out his card. I mean, I've seen so many Louisiana traffic stops with soft tards in them where both parties were white and uh, the same thing happened. Either the vehicle got towed or the soft tard got arrested. Either way, it doesn't have a very good outcome for them whatsoever. So you might want to rethink your uh, stupid little argument right there as well because it doesn't hold water in this particular scenario because you're the one who uh, is breaking the laws in this uh, case am i correct because i'm pretty sure you don't have to take my truck sir i know you don't because it's not my first time running into the law you know how many times i got pulled over in this truck man go ahead man you ain't got no warrants you ain't got no drugs you ain't got no gun you could have had all that shit man so just go ahead bro thank you for trying to do right and you a whole damn sergeant. You ain't serving shit but yourself. Let's get this police car uh, badge number. CPD 5. 
I ain't lying. I would have never moved out here. I thought y'all was this racist. I own a home out here. I'm a whole own home on it. No. Why would I be over here and I stay on Foster? Come on, man. I don't stay five minutes away from y'all down the park. That ain't, that ain't even important no more. Unless you gonna let me take my truck and go my ass on to work. I got a family to feed just like you. So your so your bottom reason why you gonna take take away from him because I don't have no insurance, knowing that it's free travel. That is the main reason. So is that not in the Constitution where a traveler don't need insurance, it's license plate, inspection sticker, none of that for for, for the travel? Come on now, dude. Uh, the kind of travel you're referencing in the Constitution is about traveling from state to state unhindered. Because, you know, in some countries, you're not allowed to travel from province to province. I mean, just try doing that in North Korea. Whatever province you were born in, you got to stay in that province. So basically, you do have the right to travel. You just don't have the right to operate a motor vehicle on the public roadways without a license, insurance, registration, or anything like that, because who would want to travel with you when you are obviously not insured on the road and you could get in an accident, dude? That is correct. The Constitution states it. I'm a traveler. You just ain't had nothing else better to do today. You bored? Why are you sitting there writing tickets for some bullshit insurance? Well, get some of them goddamn killers off the street. Well, get some of them goddamn drug dealers off the street. Don't get some of these goddamn fitting our heads running around off the street. All these goddamn murders going on, y'all sitting over with people with insurance. Go do y'all job. Hey, Softheart, he is doing his job. He's most likely been assigned to traffic duty that day, and therefore, he is doing his job by removing somebody off the street who is obviously going to be a hazard when uh, when and if he hits somebody and has no insurance. This ain't your job. I ain't no f Y'all got a criminal history when I was a juvenile. I'm a grown-ass man now. You got children? You got kids, sir? You got sons? So what if that was black? And, 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 and you, we had a white officer like you pulling me over and gonna take my car to go get it out the impound because insurance, knowing that I really, I need insurance, true, I, I truly do. But right now, I, I've been out of work since my surgery. Can't afford insurance with house insurance. They making everybody replace their roofs and I'm paying roof insurance. I'm pretty sure they made y'all ass do it too. Fuck, you a slave just like me too. Your ass gotta pay Uncle Sam too. You ain't no better than me. We paying the same damn taxes. Eating the same damn poison. But guess what? I can live on this planet. I can live on this planet. Freely, I don't need nothing. No sunscreen, no melanin shots, no none of that. Thank God, ain't God good? All the time. And you 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 a God fear man? And you, you you gonna take away from a child of God? And I'm telling I, I apologize with any um, misunderstanding. You couldn't see the license plate. But man, I ain't I ain't what you think was going on. You could have gave me a break, man. This your job. Wow, so just because both of you are religious, that means he should let you off the hook for having no insurance because it's against the law in Louisiana to have an uninsured Vehicle? Uh, no, dude. That would put his job on the line. Just look for the good and look for the bad. You ain't got no heart. You just stuck on a straight and narrow law. I know you're not. Because you got a family to feed, too. You probably get off work busting and scraping just like me, too. Cutting grass, got a paint and shit. Come on, man. Don't take away from it, man. Don't take away from it, bro. I can see you getting a warning or something, bro. God damn, man. <laughs> Have a heart, bro. It was just Easter. God damn, bro. New Year. Ain't this about a new year for me? 
Damn. That's f up. Oh, he's gonna take my truck out for no insurance. All the killings going on out here. He's gonna find some insurance. Oh, Lord. Knowing you got better shit to do. You know you don't want to write that shit out, but you're writing it out because you're being, you being wrong. And God held you responsible and accountable for everything you do. God damn. You ain't even called a record yet, man. Come on, just just give me a one. Let me go. I'll go back home, bro. Don't even worry. I'll go back home, bro. If you want to follow me home, you can follow me home, bro. Come on, man. Give me a break, man. Let me go home. You can follow me home. Make sure I go back home. How you and I ain't gotten a record before you met me. <laughs> uh, it's all my record if I'd have gotten a record. It would have been on my record if I'd have gotten a record. Oh, I, I don't know if you've been in the record. Man, it's cold, bro. I ain't out here selling no drugs. I ain't out here robbing and killing. You gonna be for insurance. Damn, bro. No, dude, he's not screwing you over because of insurance. He, you're getting yourself screwed over because you didn't follow the law because you thought you know the law. But clearly you don't, considering what you were saying that whole time. I mean, you didn't know about the Tenth Amendment. You didn't know about any of the other laws or anything like that. The right to travel argument that you were spewing out of your mouth was rather undeveloped. I mean, incoherent and everything like that. I mean, clearly you must have gotten it from somebody else and didn't refine it or anything like that. So clearly you never thought any of this th kind of thing through before. So which leads me to believe you're not that well educated about anything, not even the Constitution. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?